Obtaining insurance for holidays or a car may be a relatively simple task for many of us, but for the millions of disabled people in the UK, it is not. Disabled people are often turned down for cover or are charged unreasonable amounts. Well, I'm joined now by Graham Trudgill, Executive Director at Bieber, along with James Taylor from the disability charity Scope to talk about the challenges for disabled people in accessing insurance. Uh, gentlemen, welcome. Thank you very much for coming in and talking to me. Graham, let's start with you. Last year, Bieber received something like half a million inquiries for people seeking insurance, including those with disabilities. Can you tell us a bit more about that? And, and how you actually treat people who are disabled. Well, not every insurer covers every risk and not every customer knows where to go to find insurance. And sometimes I can understand how they can feel like a square peg in a round hole. But Bieber are a not-for-profit trade association and we run a Find a Broker website and a Find a Broker call centre and it works really well. So, for example, if you're a 90-year-old lady, you want to go on a three-week holiday to Australia, you've got angina, a serious medical condition as well, then what do you do? So if you come to us, we'll triage that inquiry and then we'll find the brokers that we know can help you and then you can find your two insurance so it does work really well the challenge is when people don't know about brokers when they don't know about find a broker and that's where we, we need to have some change so it's really great to work with charities like scope work with other business bodies and consumer bodies and the money advice service and if you can raise awareness we can improve this situation fantastic james at scope the charity supports millions of people don't they that mm. are trying to access insurance mm. what kind of stories are they telling you and what's their experience we like? hear from hundreds of disabled people every year who struggle to access insurance for things like going on holiday or their motor vehicles and we hear from many who are denied insurance altogether simply because of their impairment or their condition research we conducted uh, recently found that over a quarter of disabled people felt that they've been turned down or uh, charged too much for their insurance simply because of their disability and at Scope we want this to change which is why the role of brokers and better access to insurance is so important to many disabled people who are struggling to access it at the moment. Absolutely. Well, let's talk about the FCA investigation then. Uh, the report that's been issued that says over three million people feel that they are struggling to access uh, insurance because of some past impairment or a disability. What's your response to that? Well, Bieber's working very closely with the Financial Conduct Authority on exactly that. And there's actually a precedent that's been helping older people. So back in 2012, we had the issue that um, people couldn't find motor or travel insurance if they were of an older age. Now, what we did was we put in place an agreement with the Government Equalities Office, with the Association of British Insurers, so that if they couldn't help the older person uh, and the insurance provider was unable to, to give them some cover, they would instead signpost it to someone that could help and Bieber's received inquiries from over 480,000 older people since that agreement began so that's been really really successful so if they can do something similar to that for disabled people then I think we've really onto a winner there. And James, has there been a, an early response yet to the FCA investigation? Well, we also know they're investigating access to insurance for people with cancer, uh, which is due to report soon. And we hope that leads to real change, as, as Graham said, for disabled people across the UK. And you must have lots of examples of that yourself at Bieber. Yes, we have some great stories to tell, actually. A young lady, she had cystic fibrosis, a terrible condition, actually required a double lung transplant. She went through that and she wanted to give something back to the charity. So she wanted to climb Ben Nevis. Now, you can imagine how easy that was to get insurance for her. It wasn't straightforward, but we did have a broker that could provide the cover. She did climb it for charity, a great story. And now, actually, she's bought an annual travel policy and she's running 10 Ks uh, around the world on Australia and New Zealand. So insurance can help. It's just knowing where to find it. Tell us um, a bit about about government intervention and, 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 and support and how much you feel they should be involved in your industry. The message you want to get across is that brokers can help. There are specialist brokers out there. Bieber have a find a broker service to help people find them and we need to work together with government to deliver this and then everyone can get the insurance that they so desperately need.